Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today my husband is going to be making me another lamb bar for the goats and we will show you guys how that is done. It's a very simple process and it's a lot cheaper to make it your own. So stick around, we'll show you how to do it. Supplies you're gonna need. We get two two gallon buckets, a lid. You're gonna need the lamb bar nipples, which you cannot find on Amazon, so I'll have the link. Um, these actually double. You can put these when we first start training them before we get them on the bucket. You can put them right on top of a soda bottle. They just slide right on to get them used to the nipple. So you'll need these nipples. And we got tubing a quarter inch inside. You're gonna need a drill with a 5 8 paddle bit. And now I'll have my husband show you how to do it. So you're gonna wanna mark it out first. My lines are two and 5 8 inches down from the rim of the lid. And they're, they're about three inches apart. It won't work out perfectly, but, but you want this line is what's important, so they're all drinking evenly. And we put it down there as well, just so the straws don't have to be as long. For the little Nigerians, when they're smaller, it's a little bit harder for them to suck it up into the straw if it's too, too long. Next, we just pop in these nipples. Just pull them right on through. Never mind that ugly one. You don't have to use eight nipples. That's all we can fit on this bucket. It's just whatever fits your needs. Okay, so we actually popped a nipple out because we forgot to measure the tube. So you just put the tube in. What you want is the tube to lay down on the bottom. If it's too long, watch Derek push it through. It's gonna come up and it won't get all the milk, obviously. So what you're looking for is just to measure it so that it's laying on the bottom. Perfect. He's got his first one measured. Good. And the rest will follow. Just make them all the same length. After you got them all cut, you just force them in. You should lay down. The straw should be at the bottom of the bucket. All right guys, that probably took five minutes if it wasn't being filmed, but it's a $2 bucket. 
we got two because the other one fits our situation. We fill it with rocks and then we set it in there. It's just our stand for the bucket. And then each nipple is a couple bucks. And then the tubing was 39 cents for about all of it. So just like that. Something like this would cost you 45 to 55 dollars online. And you can make it for about 20. All right, so what we do to keep this pail sturdy, um, when they're little, like, you know, a week old, just putting that bucket inside the second bucket with some rocks um, works. But as they get a little bit older, that's not gonna work anymore. They're gonna fight over it and they will knock it over. So what we do is get a piece of plywood and we screw the bucket to the plywood. Now we're going to put some rocks in the bottom of it, just to give the second bucket some height. I'm putting that in there. So you got the height for the nipples and everything. And they will not be able to knock this over. So as they're fighting over it, it's good, it's sturdy. You don't have to worry about that bucket knocking over. And that's what we do. So with a stand, you're able to put nipples all the way around it so you get more use out of the bucket. What are you doing, Dane? Dork. Anyway, that's what we do. All right, so it is that easy, guys. Hope it helped you out. Um, the buckets we just got at uh, Home Depot. We got the tubing at the hardware store and the nipples. I will um, supply a link in the description below for you. Um, they're not very easy to find. So again, hope you guys all have a great day and go make some lamb bars.